this is the rotation thing and I just have a background to it so you can get a sense of what, what it's rotating around there like that but right now it's just this thing and it rotates around like that but if you do the exact same kind of rotation with uh, an object that has some transparency on it so this uh, my took, took this photograph of my daughter and then used Photoshop to keep, get rid of the background if you do that then this, this is trans she's transparent if I turn off the background you see that if I click on the um, there you go then it's just a transparent background if you have this transparency then you can apply particle world to that layer and then uh, move things around in space. Now I did not use an L object layer to control this thing. I used the the keyframes on the position which is not the same as rotating the camera. It's just rotating, rotating the position. It's not the best way to do it but it worked pretty well in this particular case. Just left and right and I'm going to click on this to show you the grid and show you the um, the path. So this took some work to get the path to cooperate like that. Notice that they're all, if you look at the keyframes you see the keyframes have all been adjusted here inside the uh, graph editor, which is a real tricky thing to do. They're all Bezier keyframes, which is not the standard. They would all be sharp edged like that guy there, instead of these nice Bezier curves. But that's something you can do inside the uh, graph editor if you care to do it. I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's just work. That's all. A fair amount of work. I could have used the camera here instead, but I do want to show you that you can work on things one thing at a time down here and get those Bezier curves. You tell the Bezier because of the hourglasses. Okay. And if you look at the, I'm going to go back over here and just press U again. If you go over here, you see that the thing, the position Z is what's bringing this, these objects in front of and behind her. So the Z value here is minus 30. That means it's toward the camera. And the Z value here is plus 0.3. That means it's going away from the camera. Negative comes toward the camera, positive goes away, zero is flat on at the at the center point. So if you go back to here, it's 0.3 again, back over here it's or point negative three, and here it's 0.3 as it goes around behind her. That's the way that's the way we get it to go behind her like that.